Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56, and welcome back to another episode of our Stationer's playthrough on Mars. So, in that, I actually got back I'm going to actually go out and back to my site so I can get more options into our case. I would like to have a I could also call the So yeah, I could that is something I could pop. There it goes. Okay, that's slightly better. All right, so let's. There we go. That's better. All right, so we're going to go out and try to find some oxide. And I did turn our tracker on, so I should be able to find the base if I can't see all the, all the lights in the distance. And quite honestly, I should probably go do this when it's not nighttime. But. I kind of need oxide right now. And I found some. So we're going to start at the bottom here. Start mining. There we go. Okay. Looks like there's some copper and stuff here too, which I don't actually need. I have more copper than I could probably need. But if we mine it, I'll just throw it into our system. Filter low. Uh, yes, we're at 50% of our. Actually, we're at like 25. No, 12.5% of our filter capacity. There should be a little bit of oxide up here. almost three stacks of oxide so that should be quite a bit in order to oh god oops there we go okay we're good And I'm also going to use the sensor lenses really quick, too, and see how much oxide. Okay, I actually got the majority of it, it looks like. There is a little bit more in this mountain over here, but I'm 
I'm just gonna do this little bit. Yeah, so I actually got the majority of the oxide that was on the side, or at least in this node. Uh, there was a little bit more back in here, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And there's our base, so let's go back home. And we'll throw this oxide into our base and hopefully replenish some of our oxygen. Alrighty. Speaking of, our oxygen is at zero, which I'm expecting, considering. Okay. So it's slowly increasing in pressure, not a whole lot, but uh, we're going to throw these in this room over here. There we go. Alright, so this is actually working. Uh oh, that's because we're out of oxygen. Yeah, so I need a, a steadier supply of oxygen, it looks like. Uh, what I'm going to do first is because the system isn't completely up and running yet, um, I need to actually turn, get the logic set up for this. So let's do that really quick. I can do that. All right, so this is going to be waste waste okay logic memory and this is going to be a compare unit okay so let's bring this around like this Alright, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to label all this. So this is going to be uh, waste vent. That's the waste went. <laughs> waste vent. Wow, I need to learn to type apparently. There we go. There we go, and then what we're going to do is set this to 100. Okay, so this is going to read the gas sensor. It's going to, go to read pressure when the waste event logic reader is less than the logic memory, logic compare. logic compare waste vent active vent is going to be on that's going to be inward like that so boom 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 all right oh it has to be greater oops Yeah, we'll, we'll actually do equals. One waste of my logic memory. Oh, oops. Logic reader is greater. There we go. 
so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our data disk here place it in here um, we want pressure because there's no oxygen in, in the system that's why that's because it's probably all going in here yeah so I need oxygen so since I need more than what I can but I really don't want to go out mining a whole lot let's actually call a trader and see if we can't get oxygen um, Let's see, how much money do I have on the credit card? 1,096, that should be more than enough. So what we're gonna do, uh, we should have enough power. So let's turn the solar pan, or not the solar panel, the, the dish on. All right, gas for less. Oh. I'm gonna call this guy. Well, that was extremely fast to land. All right, there's that guy, and let's start. Right, that's even slower so let's do yeah we'll we'll do that okay let's go see what this trader has hello sir 40 available so if I buy 40 that's 200 that should be enough well, probably not enough, but we're going to buy it. Mm. All right, so let's see if that actually got into our system. It did, so it's slowly increasing. All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna bump this up to 90, and then hopefully we can get some more oxygen. Let's see, what are you selling? All right, I guess not selling, but what are you buying? Um, 
pumpkin pies. You want two pumpkin pie. Ice volatiles. 80 cents. Nitrous, a dollar. Oxide. Eh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll let you go. He didn't actually get in there. And gone. Alright. I want to get this big one. Alright, that's a lot quicker. I don't know if we're going to have enough power, though. 190, we're at 105, yeah, so we need more. enough 175 oh we're so close that's enough okay perfect Uh, so it's going to take a minute to in interrogate it. It's going to be a little bit to actually interrogate these guys to get them to come in. Uh, once that happens, we'll land it. Then I'm going to turn this, this uh, the dish off. What I'm thinking about doing is actually setting up a uh, like a console with a little power switch to turn that on and off when, when I need to. I guess while we're waiting, I could do that right now, but... Yeah, let's do that really quick. Because I should have everything I need. <clears throat> iron, gold, and copper. Apparently I don't. Uh, where's iron, gold, and copper at? Uh, so iron and copper I have. Do I have any gold? I do, okay. Power control. All right, and then I need some glass, which I have on me. Okay. All right, and let's get him to land. Hydration critical. Trader plane cannot land without a threshold. Without a threshold? Oh, I need like an actual runway? So, in that case, I would need an actual runway. So. Without a threshold. What do you mean without a threshold?
Um, let's see here. Alright, so I need to find the satellite dish. Okay, where, no, seriously, where's the satellite dish at? Yeah, medium satellite dish. Alright, there it is. Why can I not find that? Oh, we're gonna do... Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually have enough to, um, enough time to actually create this, uh, threshold. Curry plane cannot land without a threshold. I'm assuming that's a runway. Because it's a trader plane, so it has to actually land. So I'm assuming that's a runway. So I'm going to go in here and actually drink some water while I try to figure this out. Because I would love to have the, uh, the plane actually land. That'd be sweet. that there's that how much are right, we actually have some oxygen in our system it's not a whole lot but it's something um, so let's see here um, landing up oh, threshold Alright, so threshold. So I need to actually uh, create some more of those so I can actually figure out how to do that. So it would be landing pad, runway, copper and steel. So I have copper, now I just need to grab the steel, which is somewhere. Yeah, so we're going to create a few of those. And then... I'm actually going to turn off the satellite dish for now since I don't... I'm not going to use it at the moment. I guess I could contact this guy and see if uh, he has anything else for us. Probably doesn't. <coughs> Turn the computer off, power that off. All right. Do you have stuff for me, sir? Sold out. Nope, you don't have anything I need, so bye-bye. OK. 
Okay. So let's see here. We're slowly bringing in oxygen. What I would like to do is actually... Let's see, this is filled. That's slowly increasing. I was hoping these would actually produce more oxygen for us. All right, this is actually getting fairly warm. So these uh, little these pipe heaters right here are actually working quite well. Let's see how much CO two we have enough CO two, so our plants should be doing fine. Yeah, the main thing is I want to see how the landing pad works. I also need to figure out our power situation here because this generator eats all of our uh, oxygen and that's not good so I need to figure out a way to create more uh, oxygen for us because these solar panels are only doing so much so I, I need to figure out a way to create uh, more efficient power I kind of wish the uh, the wind turbine generators would actually produce more power for us. The coal generator. I could hook this up to our system. I don't know though. Let's see. It doesn't say how much I actually have in there. I could set up logic so I could actually see how much is in each of these silos. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go inside. Let's see here. All right, we'll up oh, ten kits, and all right. So there's that. So there's that. Um, I do have some steel sheets on me, so that's all I need. Okay, let's go back outside. waypoint a threshold um how does the threshold work like is that I'm going to have to mess around with that because I'm not entirely sure how that works. So we're going to put this... We're going to put this stuff back inside. I'm going to have to mess around with that and actually see how that works because I'm not 100% on how that's supposed to work yet. Um, but what I want to do is actually get our power under control because uh, our power is increasing right now, but it's actually dropping which is not good uh, overall and this generator right here I do know that instead of um, oxygen I could potentially use uh, nitrous or ni nitrous oxide because I do think I do think I have a lot of that let's see here nitrous oxide I actually really don't have a whole lot of that so I just need more oxygen which I should be getting a lot of it from the Martian atmosphere. I'm getting more CO2 than anything though, which is just going right out, out the door. Let's see, how's this going? 
All right, this is actually doing quite well. Uh, and the temperature is extremely low, so that's good. Um, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on power. Uh, so I need more solar panels. Yeah, I need a lot more solar panels because these produce what 400. We'll say how 450 power for each of these solar panels. So let's see. Let's do some math here for a minute. So 450 times 25. Yeah, that's quite a bit. All right, so yeah, we're gonna make another row of solar panels right here. I could do a row right, a uh, patch right here, and another patch in the middle right here. Just have a well, crap ton of solar panels. That'd be kind of cool. So for solar panels, I believe I need astrology. Alright, so let's turn the filters off, open up my helmet, solar. Heavy solar panel, so I need 20 copper, and this is for one, and I need 25 at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my calculator here really quick. Alright, so 20 copper. So I need 500 copper. So we're going to put this right here. So 500 copper. All right, so 500 copper. Uh, we need 2,500 steel. Or 250 steel, sorry. 250 steel. Let's see. Why can't I do math right now? 100. Let's see, be 125. What was that? Electrum. Electrum. Oh, my uh, thing just died. Let's see, what kind of battery was in here? That lasted forever. Okay. 125 Electrum and astrology 15 so 125 125 is 250 uh, 375 375 astrology all right so I need 500 copper 250 steel 125 electrum and 375 astrology all right that's a lot so I have I have 55 astrology uh, I don't have enough electrum I actually don't have enough of anything except probably copper Alright, so what we're going to do is, because I'm going to need a lot more heavy cable, we're going to make a bunch of heavy cable. So we're just going to have this running, making heavy cable for us, and I need 500 copper. Alright, let's go grab all the resources we need. Two... Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one hundred, two hundred, three hundred. 400 and if I can grab it 500 all right so 500 copper check uh, 250 steel 125 electrum all right so 250 steels next so for steel I can make a stack of 200 so we'll do one two three four five six okay alright so 300 steel and I need two of these gas in here there we go and then I'm gonna need even more steel to make the um, 375 astrology go okay perfect all right so 400 steel check so we have enough copper we have enough steel now I need electrum. I need 125 electrum. So electrum, let's see here. Ingots, 50-50 um, gold and silver, okay. So that makes, I believe that would make 100. So this should make 200. I believe, if my math is right. Oh, wait a minute. That got split in two, it looks like. Alright. So, I need 800 KPA to 2.4. Alright. KPA to 2.4 check and we're gonna have to increase just a hair yep 200 okay so I was right all right and Electrum is done so last but not least I need astrology and we're gonna have to have a lot for astrology here So I need what, 375, so let's do this. So we'll say 400 to uh, ma make it easy. So I need 200 steel, 100 copper, and 100 cold. So 200 steel. So I can make another thing of steel, that's no issue. One, two, three. Maybe. 
maybe if I can put this in here. Alright, steel, or that's iron. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now that that's there, I need a hundred copper to a hundred cobalt. Hydration critical. Again, I literally just hydrated. And then a hundred cobalt. Which I'm kind of running out of inventory space here. Let's see, let's put this, we'll just put the walls right there. One, two. Air tank low. Uh oh, that's what I was worried about my air tank being low since. That's not good. Okay. So for astrology. Uh, 30 MPA to 40. Okay, so I need quite a bit of pressure. Alright. to not waste my gas, but... Alright, so I believe... So, 1,000 to 100,000, and then 30 to 40, okay. So, 30 to 40, alright, so we should be able to get that pressure in here. 20 perfect oh that was only a hundred oh no three so I need four times that okay so I need oh that's a lot okay um So, I have 100 astrology. Well, I have some more astrology in here, but all right, so 100. Um, I need three more of those, so I need 600 more steel. Oh, my God. Alright, so 450 iron, and I need three of these. Alright, so I need three of these. Oh, 
Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go take care of my water. Hang on a sec. There we go. Alright. Drink some of that and good to go. Alright, let's go back outside. Turn my suit on. Oh, I thought stuff was black and white there for a moment. Alright, so our, I think our oxygen is slowly increasing. Very slowly. Alright. Put that in. So this should create... Alright. Needs to reach 900 Kelvin, which it just did. Perfect. Okay. So this is all for astrology. Oh my. Okay. So I need what? 300 copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are going to have so I need six. go all of this for heavy solar panels actually all this is for um, astrology <laughs> all right so first things first So yeah, we're just kind of waiting for all this um, ore to actually melt in this furnace here. Let's turn this up a little bit. All 
that, and then once this is done, the 300 copper go in, and then the 300 uh, cobalt. This is going to be the tedious part right here because I have six of these I have to place in here. Now let's make some more astrology. So we need at least 30 MPA in here. 2, 25. All right, and we have 400 astrology, perfect. Okay, so I should have everything I need in order to make these 25 heavy solar panels. I hope. So, and here we go. It's going to take a while to actually make all this, but that's fine because I need five pieces of glass for every solar panel. So, let's see here. That's 125 pieces of glass. And I'm just going to start making as much glass as possible. I have 22 on me, so let's go go outside and grab some more silicone. Close my helmet. All right, so we'll go and grab some more silicone out here. So this will make what 25. 50, 50, 75, 100. So I have 47 there. So 50. This will make 100, 150. Yeah, that should be enough. Because I, I can always use glass for something. How's the oxygen doing in these places? Is this actually working?
is slowly yeah it's because this one's not working properly yeah because there's not enough oxygen in, in here that's why speaking of All right. You know what I can do is turn this off since I'm not actually using it. Yeah, I'm going to have glass for days. All right, so here's a stack of five. Let's close this. Let's open this up. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and actually start getting this uh, set up. Actually, what I do need is I need another battery, which I think I have a battery. Oh, God. So, yeah, what I'm thinking of doing... Because I kind of have an idea, because I could put solar panels just along this roof here and this roof and just make a bunch of power. I think what we'll do is we'll start on this roof though. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so five solar panels down. And now what we're going to do is actually get this uh, taken care of. So then I think what I'm going to do now is logic math solar and then it's just logic reader solar horizontal. Okay. Okay. Um, I need logic kit IO. There we go. So we're going to do batch writer, batch writer. Put that away, put that there, put that there, and grab that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this is going to be Logic Math Solar. I believe Logic Math Solar is for vertical. Yeah, Logic Math Solar is for vertical. All right, and then this is going to be Is it logic reader solar horizontal? Yes. There it goes. All right. So this is going to generate so I need to go and grab the battery. So we'll just go to the store. I believe I have a battery. Alright, 
so we have so much glass on us. Yeah, we have a we have glass. Yeah, we have so much glass. Okay. And we have even more solar panels. Um I need a battery first of all. Let's see, I believe there's one sleeper atmospherics. I thought I had one somewhere. Maybe I didn't. I mean, I can always make one. It's going to be a bit. So, yeah. I guess worst case scenario, I can dismantle a battery from one of the other areas. I guess I could do it from in, in here. Since I'm not actually using this generator right here. Yeah, I'm going to dismantle this battery, actually. So I can use it for up top. Um, angle grinder. And then a wrench. Okay, there we go. And then while I'm up here, let's grab this. sun's not coming up quite yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it right here perfect all right so this is gonna connect like this. Alright. And that goes like that. So this should start generating power and I help in to power our base here. So while we're doing that, what I'm probably going to end up doing is we'll extend this around this way that we'll grab another five heavy solar panels two three four five grab some glass all right and I can actually do another five solar panels well I might not have enough heavy cable so we'll see but I'm hoping this kind of resolves some of our power issues that we're having. And I need hydration once again. Okay. Oh, geez. Well, that's all five. Alright, so we have all 25 solar panels. So what I need more than anything right now is heavy cable then. Because I don't have nearly enough heavy cable. And we're almost out of power. That's cool. So let's do this. Let's place... Fine. Okay, something startled my dog. Alright, uh, we're going to place these in here. I'm going to condense these with those. Uh, let's get the plastic out of here. The steel sheets, I probably don't need them, but... 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not good. Our power is dropping quite fast. Um, so I need a lot more heavy cable. So we're going to head back outside. I'm going to grab some iron, or not iron, but um, some gold and copper. Make a couple more stacks of heavy cable while I place the rest of these solar panels. Alright, so this will make two stacks of heavy cable. That should be enough. I'm hoping. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. So we'll go outside and place another layer. Well, I, I won't have enough he heavy cable to, to do that. So... On the plus side, at least daytime's coming because <laughs> we're less than 3% power. Just watching that drop. 2% power. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 1.3, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 
Okay, so that battery's almost fully charged. This one is not. All right, there it goes. Place that back, and that should, it's probably gonna end up draining. Yep, there it goes. All right, so let's uh, grab some more heavy cable that's being made. Alrighty. What's our power up to? 18%? That's not good. Alright. Grab some, uh, we'll grab the 50. Alright, perfect. We have another batch of solar panels up and running. That really didn't take too long. Uh, there was mainly the astrology that was taking the longest out of that, but that actually went pretty quick. I'm trying to think how I want to do this because I would prefer I don't know because like these solar panels aren't even doing anything at this moment they're just not doing anything so I probably just need more batteries at this moment Let's see, the rest of these batteries are filling up, so yeah, I think what I need more than anything is just more batteries now. Um, so for batteries, let's see, stationary battery. Twenty gold, twenty copper, twenty steel. Twenty, twenty, and twenty, okay. So let's see here, 20, 20, 20, how much steel do I have in here? I have a, I have 150 steel, I have more than enough steel. Okay, and I have 40 gold, so I, I could potentially make two batteries, so that's what we'll do. And I have enough uh, iron sheets, so we should be fine there. So we'll do one thing of copper, go back in here, Uh, 
All right, so now that I have the copper, let's throw that in here. B-A-T-T-E-R-Y, battery, and we'll make two of these. It's gonna take a minute for those to get made, but that's fine. Um, our batteries are in, our power is increasing. We're at 43%. And then this battery right here was just backup power. So yeah, I need to figure out a better uh, system for this. Um, I just need a more efficient source of oxygen more than anything. Okay, so that's one battery. Let's also grab some iron sheets since I'm going to need those. Alright, uh, it's nighttime, so our battery is dropping. Hopefully this will last us the uh, through the night. So we'll do one here, and I can do another one over here. There we go. So iron sheets. Turn that on. Turn that on, okay. I need more uh, heavy cable, dang it. I know I have gold. Well, I should have gold and copper. No, I don't have. I have, co I have gold, not copper. Put that back, grab this gold. I wonder how much I have in there. Let's see. All right, and I did have a heavy cable right here, so yeah, I had more than enough. That's okay, though. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alrighty, let's do this. Perfect. So it's going to take a minute before uh, the sun comes back around, but that's okay. Let's see, these batteries are completely empty. That's empty there. These ones are still fairly full. Let's see. All right, so we're at under 30% of our uh, battery capacity. Well, and that's not entirely accurate either. So let's do, so this is the battery. Okay, so I have four, Eight, yeah, four, eight, twelve. There's twelve batteries right there. Twelve, so I have what, sixteen batteries? And I'm not counting that one. And I'm not, yeah, so sixteen batteries. Okay, so let's do some more math here, really quick. 
because I believe the battery thirty six million. So that's let's see here. So three six. No, three point six million. Okay, one, two, three, four, five times sixteen equals fifty seven. 57 million 600 okay which means I have to adjust this to 57 six two one two three There we go. Okay. I don't know why I did that one. All right, so we're at 17% of our total battery capacity right now, which is slightly concerning, especially since the sun's nowhere close to to um, rising. Actually, the sun's going to rise here pretty soon, so it might be enough. Hydration yeah, these batteries are all empty. Those ones are still fairly full for the most part. These ones are all empty, though. Yeah, so 4, 8, 12, 16. So 16 batteries. I'm not counting the one at our, on our mining platform. All right. So let's see here. We're at 13% of our total battery capacity. And daytime is just around the corner. All right, so I just want to see how this works. Just waiting for the sun to rise. And then I'm also going to um, kind of decorate the outside of this base and stuff. I would also like to get more, um, more heavy solar panels so I can kind of replace these rooms here. So I don't have to keep... Uh, micromanaging like the atmosphere and stuff in some of these rooms or worrying about storms destroying my solar panels and stuff which is the main reason why I, bu I built these rooms in the first place all right so while we're waiting for nighttime to end let's go and actually get some water and stuff We're at 12%. Drink some water, eat some food. Okay. And then... I think my uh, hydroponics bay is actually doing pretty good. How's our... Oxygen is... Our oxygen is slowly increasing. It's not going up a whole lot. But, all right, 5.6% of battery left. We're still waiting on sunrise to hit. Still nothing there. We're less than 5% of our total battery capacity. That's concerning. Especially since I placed another 25 solar panels. All right, well, I guess while we're waiting, what I can do, because these rooms are basically done. I just need to figure out what I want to put in here. But for the most part, the inside uh, of these rooms is done. So I can actually uh, weld the frames back in here. 
And I can do the same thing on these sides. And yeah, so I can weld those frames in there. So let's grab some steel frames, which I know I have quite a few of them. And then I have a bunch of steel sheets too, so. Alright. Alright, and we're at less than 1% power. But the sun is rising, so hopefully we don't lose power. Uh, I just need to get all, all my uh, batteries to charge. Oops, it's going to be over here. Okay. Alright, that one's already done. So, let's grab this. There we go. Alright, and there's the sun. Kind of, I can see through the mountain. That's okay, though. Grab that. Hmm. Okay. And then we'll do this. There we go. Okay, so that's done. So then I can actually start placing walls and siding on our base here. Alright. And it looks like we are generating power. I don't think our... Um, I don't think we lost power. So... I think so far... We're just barely scraping by power-wise. Um... As far as getting more solar panels goes, I do kind of have an idea. I I would like to kind of have a, a walkway right here, but what I could do is if I place 25 solar panels here, um, I could just connect them to these batteries here and these batteries over here. So I, I kind of know how I would actually do that. But I want to see how fast our uh, batteries are charging here. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this sound. So let's go back inside. I want to see how quickly our batteries are charging. We're at we're only at three percent. That's not good. Yeah, because I did that right, right? Three, six, zero, 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 zero. Three, six, zero, 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 zero. Times 16 equals 57 million, 600,000. Okay. All right, so it is slowly increasing. want to do that. I want to try to survive off of just solar power. Um, as far as the fuel generator goes though, I'd have to hook up another battery up to it, but there's just not enough gas in our system to actually power it. generator here and then just a bunch of batteries around act as like backup power so that's my usual plan and I need to get more gas if I need to do it. figure out a way to actually make I need to figure out a way to actually generate um like to kinda of have like a loop where I can just generate fuel and uh, water and oxygen and gases. I know that there's a way to do it with like uh some of the atmospheric machines. But 
Let's see. Hemispherics. Yeah, I know that there's a way to do it with like the electrolyzer, the H2 combustor, to create nitrous oxide from oxygen and nitrogen in large amounts of energy. This pro this device is used to create nitrous oxide from oxygen, nitrogen, and oh, and, and a large amount of energy. It doesn't okay. Um, electrolyzer splits water into hydrogen and oxygen H2 it burns a mixture of volatiles and oxygen to create water so basically this burns fuel to create water so it burns fuel Oh geez, yeah, okay. Um, splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. I feel like this one would be a good one. It splits water. Um, I have a lot of water. Could use that one. Let's see. All right, we're up to 30%. That's actually increasing quite fast. We're only up to 30% of our available battery capacity, so that's not ideal, but it is actually increasing quite fast. So, and it's past midday, we're at 30%, so yeah, we'll hit like 40% maybe, if that. But 40% of 16 versus 40% of, what was it, 12? No, 14. And all of our batteries are in the yellow, so I feel like so far we're actually doing quite well in terms of power. I do need a lot more power, though. That's the thing. I just need a more efficient form of power because right now what I have isn't really cutting it. So I think what I might do, because I do have um, the coal generator... All right, so we're at we're at forty percent. We might actually hit fifty percent. Yeah, so we're at forty percent of our power right now. So that's actually not bad. Eventually, these ones are going to stop generating, uh, start slowing down their generation of power, especially these back ones here. But we're actually doing fairly good right now. Okay, so let's grab this. Let's button this up. Yeah, so this is looking good. Forty-five percent. So we might end up hitting fifty percent. Okay, so that's not terrible. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this power line. And that should actually start charging up. Well, this will charge these batteries right here. Is what this is going to charge. It will charge these batteries which will help the rest of these batteries. Forty nine, 
150. Yeah, that's increasing faster since I uh, hooked up that generator. So, okay, so power's sort of taken care of for the most part. Um, I do want to get more solar panels. I just need to figure out where I want to place them. Because I could end up moving... I can't look where this is. I'd have a solar panel interfering right here. I could end up moving... Hmm... wants to place 25 more solar panels right here. I also place 25 more right here and sell it from here over to here potentially. And then have more solar panels right here. So that would solve our power issue. That would require an ungodly amount of freaking resources, but I mean I guess that would be okay. So let's see, what did we hit? I think we hit like 52.8% yes, of our total battery capacity. That is not bad. And this is just going to be on indefinitely. So, okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make another um, 25 solar panels. All right, so 500 copper, 250 steel, 125 electrum. I have 110 steel, 75 electrum, and all right, so I have 25. So I need 100 electrum. I've all right, so we'll do what I did before. Um, let's place the glass in here. We'll place that there. All right, so I need 500 copper. Also realize realized my jetpack's almost completely gone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright, so 500 copper, check. Uh, another 400 steel. Um, actually, let's get some more oxygen going. See if I can't get some more uh, gases. More or less. Actually, let's do this guy. I want to see if I can sell a a anything to him.
All right, so now that he's coming, let's adjust this. Yeah, let's see what this guy has. Hello, sir. Um, I really, actually. Available 300. <laughs> can I sell you anything? Ooh, can you want five canned tomatoes? Ship refuel. Oh, I bet you would love that. Heavy mining drill. Canned rice pudding. Okay, I don't actually want any of that. So. Alright, so I found the oxide tank. <laughs> So I actually got quite a bit of oxide from that. Alright, so... 250 steel. So what we'll do is we'll do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to turn this stuff off. gonna actually do is cut this cable again all right I only needed the one but that's fine all right so we'll do this So this will be the 250 steel, and then I need 125 electrum, I believe if I remember correctly. Yeah, 125 electrum. I did not just do that. There's the 200 or the 400 steel, technically. So now I need the electrum.
All right, there's the Electrum, perfect. And then last but not least, I need the, um, uh, the Astrology. And that one's actually gonna take a bit because I need more Cobalt and I produced quite a bit of Cobalt with this uh, mining platform, but I haven't, I don't have any more, so I'm gonna need 400 cobalt, which I don't have. So I'm, I'm actually gonna have to go out and mine that one. But before I forget, let's go get some water because my guy's currently suffocating. All right. And then I am gonna call this episode here in about 10 minutes. We are coming up on the two hour mark. All right, so let's just start throwing all this ice out here. This should help with our oxygen situation. Oh yeah, look at that, that is increasing quite, quite a lot. Alright, we're almost up to one megapascal of, of uh, oxygen. And our power is increasing. So far, so good. Alright, we're basically up to one MPA now. It is starting to slow down, so we didn't quite make it, but we're, we're close. This what I could do is I could throw this in here too. There we go. 1.2 MPA of gas. All right, so we actually do have some oxygen in here now, thankfully. All right, so let's see. What is our power looking? We're at 42% power, so not terrible. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go mining for cobalt because I'm going to need a bunch of it. Well, I'm going to need 400 of it to be exact, so that's, what, 8 stacks? <laughs> I got this. Alright, I do know that I did see some with this, uh, at the base of this mountain over here. Yeah, our base is looking good. That looks awesome. Alright, so there's some cobalt. I just need 400 of it to make all the astrology I need to make another uh, 25 solar panels. Which is a lot. What I could also do is once I figure out some of the coding in this game I could also start working with rockets so I can start sending um, rockets into space to get resources and stuff so that is another option that I can do and then I would never have to worry about gas or anything ever again but I kinda like the trader though because then you actually have to trade and it kinda has uh, an economy where you can buy and sell stuff the rocket you just get free resources essentially once it's all set up Alright, this is going to take me forever. Waste tank caution. Um, I do have a plan for the waste tank. Because my jetpack's almost completely out of fuel, I'm going to place my waste tank where my jetpack is. All right. 
right, so let's see how much more cobalt is here. Right, so there's just a little bit more here, so there's not a whole lot. And there's gold here, but gold is one thing I don't actually need. Cobalt is something I need because there's not a whole lot of it, but I guess I could have traded for it. I didn't see if the trader had any. I didn't even think to look. Well, and I think the trader's still there. I don't think I had him depart yet, so I might be able to actually buy some. So we're up to 58 and out, out, out of 300, so just a little bit more. Alright, so there's that. There's a lot more oxide everywhere. So here's some more. I'll have to see how much is actually here with my uh, sensor lenses. Oh, there's like only two here, so it's just this little stack right here. That's okay. Some is better than none. So I'm going to go back to base really quick. I keep forgetting I have that uh, locker just kind of floating here where my uh, starter base used to be. Put that back. Alright, so that's slowly increasing, so that's good. All right, so we do have another stack of cobalt here. Um, it's still going to be a bit before I can actually make another thing of astrology, or as much astrology as I'm going to actually need. So the waste tank, let's replace it with the propellant. Perfect. All right, and our, it looks like our oxygen is slowly increasing, so that's good. kind of half tempted to place more um because I really don't need these radiators so I could place a bunch more uh active vents here because I could do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen I could technically do that Iron, gold, and copper. Okay, I think I have gold and... I, I have a bunch of iron, so we'll just do this. Because I'm not sure how, of how much I'm going to need, so... <laughs> we'll just make a bunch of active vents really quick.
And then I'm also going to need more cable. Oops. Alright, so we'll do this. We'll go back outside. So, all right, so we're going to do inward, 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 okay. So let's see how much that actually increases it. I don't know if that's going to affect it or not, but I'm trying to just increase the amount of uh, oxygen. Or you know what I could do. It's actually working quite well. So, three, six, nine. I, I need nine more. Air tank low. All right. Filter low. Filter is actually getting low. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create nine more vents. And then once I, once those are hooked up, I'm probably going to end up calling this episode here. Two. Three. Four. Oh, never mind. I ran out of copper, so it's going to be just be these four here. So I'm, I'm going to get these four uh, hooked up, and then I'm going to call the episode. So we have one, two, three, four. I'm not going to worry about that one right now. Let's make sure this is working. Does that not have enough power? It doesn't have enough power. Okay, so. But if I turn that off, it has enough power. It has plenty of power. So if that's the case, I could hook because I could remove that and place it right here. Yeah, I'll figure that out. Um, but we did actually get all of these vents, and I'm gonna have more right here too. So it's probably a good thing I disconnect that that heater, but. 
hopefully that'll kind of increase the amount of uh, gases that we actually take so I can increase it's mainly my oxygen I want to increase more than anything but um yeah so in this episode we um, started placing more active vents here to try to get as much of the Martian atmosphere that I can I could honestly just probably leave this on but I don't know I'll figure that out um, we did actually make 25 more solar panels over here so I'm um, trying to increase the amount of power that we have so I can actually do more things without having to tap into my uh, mining drill uh, but yeah I want to make a lot more solar panels I just need a lot more cobalt in order to do that because I just want to make heavy solar panels at this point but in the next episode I do want to try to figure out the fuel generator situation because I need a lot more oxygen but I need Uh, that's going to be my next goal in the next episode to try to figure that out. And I also want to mess with the landing pads because if I make a runway, I can get bigger uh, planes and stuff in, which would be actually really cool. But, uh, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.